In the diagram, PQ, line PQ, is parallel to line SR. So this is PQ and this is SR and we are told that they are parallel. That is what these double arrows are also indicating. Okay, you can see the same double arrow on PQ is also on SR. That is telling us that these two lines are parallel, meaning that they can never meet at any point. They are only running parallel to one another. But we have to find the value of x, x in this particular location. Now, depending on your choice, there are a number of ways you can go about trying to solve this. For example, for example, you can choose to draw another parallel line here. Okay, and say this line is also parallel to the two lines PQ and SR. And in that case, if it is parallel, look at this. This angle X and this particular angle here, they will also be equal because these are alternate angles. You can see they form something like Z, okay? So, one year, another year, these are alternate angles. And also in the same respect, this 68 and this angle here, they are also equal just because they are also alternate angles. And you can see now, you have this to be 68, you have this to be hex. If you look at this particular point, all of these angles, they meet at the point. And we know that the sum of angles at a point, it is 360 degrees. So, we can say 68 plus x plus 246 is equal to 360 degrees. Such that, in that case, we can now say um, x will be 360 degrees minus the sum of 68 and 246. We have 246. And 68 6 plus 8 that is 14 remaining 1 4 plus 6 that is 10 plus out that one that's 11 then 2 plus 1 that's 30 so 360 minus 314 degrees and that will give us nothing but so that will be 46 degrees which is option b okay now that's one way to go about it alternatively let me also show us another way Alternatively, you can say, look at this particular this particular line. You can say you want to extend it to Q. So from S, I can just say I want to extend this line and just go about it like this. So now, looking at this, I'm now having a triangle PQ to this particular point. And now, on line this line emanating from s to this we know this is 180 degrees so in that case this angle hmm, this angle is going to be 246 minus 180 so i cannot say that 246 degrees minus 180 degrees 6 minus 0 that is 6 then i need to borrow one here 14 minus 8 that is also 6 so this particular place is 66 degrees all right but then that's not all I can also look at this angle 68 here and I can say this place is also going to give me 68. Why? Because this angle that I'm shading in red and this angle here, they are alternate angles. So if, if I'm doing that, I can now say, look at this now. I have three angles. I have X, I have 66 and I have 68. And they constitute angles of a triangle, and the sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degrees, such so that x plus 66 plus 68, let's say just 66 and 68, 68, okay? 6 and 8, that's 14, remaining 1. 6 and 6, that's 12, that will be 134. So plus 134 is equal to 180 degrees. So x will be 180 degrees minus 134 and you want to solve that 10 minus 4 because i'm taking one from it to add up to this 10 minus 4 that is 6 so this is remaining 7 7 minus 3 that is 4. and you can see again we also arrive at option b as the correct answer so these are just various ways you can go about but once you just understand the concept of parallel lines and the transversal and the angles included there you'll be able to just solve these questions easily as you go. And the more you practice, the better you are going to become. So the 
answer to this question is option B. In the diagram, line MN, this is MN, okay, is parallel to line PQ, this is PQ, and that parallel properties of the two is being indicated by these double arrows that are shown on the two lines, okay. Now, I told that angle MNP, MNP, so this angle, yeah, is 2x, and angle NPQ, NPQ, so this angle here, is 3x minus 50 degrees. You have to find the value of NPQ. Okay. There are quite some ways you can go about solving this, but ideally, this is just a simple slam and dunk question on alternate angles. Because since MN and PQ are parallel, then this line joining the two of them is a transversal. And this is actually featuring two angles, 2x and 3x minus 50, that are alternate angles. Okay, both of them, they are alternate angles. So, angle, I'll just say angle MNP and angle MPQ are alternate angles. Okay, so the implication of them being alternate angles means that they are equal to each other. So, we can say angle MNP is equal to angle NPQ and now <laughs> that they are equal means that what is MNP that's 2x and what is NPQ that's 3x minus 50 so if you are to just collect like terms take minus 50 here and take 2x to the other side you can just say that means that 50 is equal to 3x minus 2x and 3x minus 2x is x so 50 is x or we can say our x is 50 degrees okay but look at the question nobody asks us to find the value of x what are we asked to find we are asked to find the value of npq so npq okay so the question that we has angle npq that was giving us 3x minus 50 will now be let's substitute the value of x that will be 3 multiplied by 50 okay minus 50 3 times 50 that is equal to 150 degrees minus 50 to give us 100 degrees okay so angle n p q that we're asked to find is 100 and looking at the options you can see that is option D. The student may not want to make the mistake that I'm sorry for X. X is 50, but looking at all the options, the answer is not there. Let me just move on with my no, 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 no. You need to get the complete picture of the question you are being asked. And here we are told that we should look for MPQ, which is 3x minus 50, and the solution is 100 degrees. In the diagram, PQ is a straight line. So this line PQ is a straight line. Now, if M is half of the sum of x, y, and z were to find the value of m. What will help us first is that we should note that m was giving us 1 over 2 of x plus y plus z, okay? And all that we have on this straight line, they only constitute x, y, z, and the m that we have been given. But now, we know that as a general rule of thumb, the sum of angles on a straight line is 180 degrees. So, using that postulation, we can say that x plus y plus z plus m, the sum of all these angles on the straight line is equal to 180 degrees. Now, look at this. Look at this. We have x, y, and z already here. We also have them here, denoted in m. So, from this particular, from this particular, Possibly that we have been given that m is half of those, we can see that this x, y, and z, this x, y, and z, their sum is going to be, if we cross multiply here, we are going to have 2m, okay? And now, using that 2m in this particular equation, we can say, instead of x, y, and z, we know that is 2m, so we can just say it is 2m plus m that is going to give us 180 degrees. It's just a simple matter of substituting for the value 
of the sum of x, y, and z as 2m. And then here, you can see that 3m is equal to 180 degrees. And if we divide both sides by 3, we can just cut out to know that this 3 will cancel here. 3 here, 1, 3, 180 degrees, that's 60 degrees. So the value of the m that we're asked to find is nothing but 60 degrees. And looking at the options that we're given, we can see that is being reflected in option B. 60 degrees. So that's all we are going to be having in our lecture today. We hope that this will be of benefit of use to somebody out there. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of resources that you can use to enhance your academic excellence. And that's our desire that you go out and be the best. And as you do all this, we know that all will work out together for good. Until next time, God bless you.